So I'm going to do 48 times 25. Now last time when we used the box method, we drew one long box like that because we only had one number here and maybe two or three or maybe even four numbers up top. But this time we have two numbers and two numbers or two digits and two digits. So instead of doing one line and then draw a couple lines down here, we're actually going to do two rows and then two columns. And I'll show you why. Let's take this first number. We're going to take 48 and write it in expanded form. So 48 equals 40 plus 8. And that's all I'm going to put right there. And then I'm going to take 25 and expand it to 20 plus 5. So 20 and then 5. So I put one number up top, one number on the side. And now I'm just going to simply multiply what is above and to the side of the boxes. So this box, I have my 40 and I have my 20. So 4 times 2 is 8. And then I'm going to add my zeros there on the side. So it should be 800. This box above it is 8. To the side is 20. So 8 times 2 is 16. And i got to add that zero. Uh, above this box is 40. Don't use that 800. We've already used it. 40 times 5. So 4 times 5 is 20. And then add the zero. So it's 200. And then 8 times 5 is 40. Now I'm going to take all those numbers. Make sure that I line them up just right. And then I'm going to add them all up. And since they're already in place value, um, and since they're already lined up according to place value, this should be pretty easy. So that's all zeros. That's a 10. Carry my 1. That's 12. So my answer for 48 times 25 is 1,200. That is how you use partial products using a box um, to try to figure your answer.